Good morning, my friend. This is the first edition of Coffee with Kira. It's exciting. <laughs> uh, today I am drinking out of my Christmas Pikachu mug. It's a year-round mug for me. I got it for every year Jamie's family. Um, we do a mug exchange, kind of like white elephant style, and the mug is like stuffed with little like, stocking stuffer goodies. And that was the mug I got, and I love it. So, um, I'm actually recording this on Friday because I um, decided to start this little video series and this email series um, midweek. <laughs> so, um, I, and also I'm actually going to be out of town on Sunday morning, so, um, which means I'll probably be recording the next video Sunday afternoon. Um, I'll still have my coffee. Anyway, doesn't matter. Scheduling doesn't matter. The point is you're getting this on Sunday morning. I hope you have your coffee or tea or morning beverage of choice. Um, I don't know, you can probably hear the rain. There goes William Blake. Uh, you can probably hear the rain outside. It's it was raining pretty heavy this morning and the can still hear the water in the drains and I love it. It makes me very happy. So, um, how was your week? What did what happened this week? What was an amazing thing that happened this week? Um ah, this week I'm trying to think of an amazing thing that happened this week. Amazing is kind of a tall order. Um, I'm taking a couple of workshops and classes, um, just free resources on uh, mindset and business mindset and things like that. So, um, and oh, one amazing thing is that I've I've like been able to maintain a lot of motivation, um, which if you are a creative person at all or um, artistic in any way, you understand like the ups and downs of creative life. And, um, I, I, I've been doing a lot of work on that and I feel like I'm finally in a place where I can actually manage my mind in such a way that I can maintain a level of motivation, which is awesome. I feel very unstoppable right now. <laughs> um, I'm still painting. Uh, in this email, I have a little preview of uh, the piece that is on my easel right now. Um, I just finished the painting portion of it. Now I just have to let it dry for a couple days before I put the, the calf on it. Um, the calf is all cut out. It's ready to go. I even started my next painting this morning, so it's nice to get ahead of schedule a little bit. I try to do a painting a week, so... Uh, yeah, um, this weekend I'm going to, I'm going to go see a play with my parents. Uh, we've been doing that about once a month and it's been really fun. Uh, Theater on the Ridge up in Paradise. Um, great productions there. And then uh, I'm going to a haunted forest with Jamie and some friends tomorrow. So that'll be fun Halloween uh, themed activity. And then this coming week, I'm carving pumpkins with my sisters-in-law and um, maybe a couple other friends. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to, we're not dressing up for Halloween this year, but that's okay. We'll probably go trick-or-treating with some friends and their kids. But uh, yeah, I love Halloween. It's, I love horror movies. It's, it's just like a fun time of year. And it's really like the gateway for the holiday season, which is the best time of the year. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, one of my paintings. Um, this, so a little little brief bit of backstory. I took basically all of 2020 off of painting. I was very burnt out, felt very like directionless, um, felt like I wasn't gaining any traction. Um, and with with a lot of like the thought work I've been doing, I realize a lot of that was my perception, which I have also since realized I have a lot of power over, just with making choices of how I want to think about things. Um, and one of the things I, I really realized I needed to recapture was 
making art that um, that I wanted to make, not what I thought other people wanted to see because like, you know, tell me if I'm off here, but I think the most interesting art is the art that comes from the artist. Um, I think that's like what makes it special, you know, is that it comes from a, a specific individual and it's not just like carbon copies of everything else you see. Just my opinion. Um, and so I, I gave myself a little challenge. There were 22 weeks of the calendar year left and I was gonna do a painting a week. And I've been able to maintain that and even um, go above and beyond it. So um, yeah, so, so this was one of the first paintings that like, um, what a, like, so my first few were just kind of play, um, messing with color and texture, and um, I really enjoyed the process of making them. And this was one of the first ones that I was like, I had a vision for, I wasn't just messing around. Um, and it's called Crucified Christ, Third Eye. You can see his little... He's got his third eye open there. Um, someone asked a good question on Instagram, what that third eye means to me. Um, and, and I did another portrait of him, of just his, his, you know, head, uh, with the third eye open. And I, I talk a little bit more about that on, Inst or I will be talking a little bit more about all of that on Instagram. And you can also see the description on Saatchi art, but, um, to me, the third eye represents, um, I mean, obviously it's a symbol of enlightenment. Um, and it represents to me the achievability of the divine because you know opening your third eye is something that um, in theory you should be able to achieve um, in your own spiritual practice and and so giving Jesus the third eye to me really represents um, his the accessibility of our own divinity with with us um, you know if you believe that that he that the Holy Spirit is in us that we then have access to enlightenment and that third eye opening so um, and it also is is really just like a, a way to um, revision I guess the concept of Jesus um, I've like many in my generation have been going through my own deconstruction um, and, and I'm now in a place of reconstruction and my Christianity looks really different on this side of it. And, and I think this is, I mentioned in the description, this is how Jesus reveals himself to me now. So that is uh, the crucified Christ. Um, I really like how this piece turned out. It's the only one I <laughs> took the time to frame. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that is my Jesus. Um, let me know what you think. I know that uh, the third eye is a not something you see on depictions of Jesus <laughs> very often. I would love to hear your reaction to it. Um, I I took up knitting uh, in 2019, and oh my god, it got me through 2020. I've knit so much. Um, like kept me busy, gave me something to occupy me. I am still pretty obsessed so i i've always got a couple of different projects going I usually have some socks or a hat going and then a sweater project so um, i'm at the point now where i have like jars of half used skeins of yarn and i thought i wanted to make myself a sweater so this is the yoke which goes around the neck i'm actually wearing a, a cardigan that i made for myself um this is my scrappy sweater. And I'm just using a basic sweater recipe. I've got some slip stitches between the colors here. And then this is a brioche stitch. So I'm kind of just making it up as I go. This one's just plain knit, knit stitch. But the next one, I think I'm going to do some lace. So um, yeah, it's just really fun. I. Um, I haven't really gone off script on a sweater yet as far as like kind of making making it up as I go and it's a perfect opportunity with scraps to do that so yeah so that's been really fun started that this week um, I think I'm just gonna do like a crop short sleeve so it should be a pretty quick turnaround on that project 
Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's really all I've got for you today. Um, I hope that you found this interesting. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to borrow a segment from the Fat Squirrel. Um, she's a knitting podcaster on YouTube that I just love, and she always leaves, leaves you with kind of a benediction. So um, the, the thing I want to leave you with today, which is also going to be in the email, is I hope that you can find one small thing to change in your routine or your environment this week. Something super small, but something that is, is a token to yourself of how you want your life to look. Um, there's, always, there's always something that can be improved. Um, and and you get there you get to the future you want with very small steps small manageable steps so i would love to hear what you decide to what small change you decide to make um, and i hope that that change whenever you um, come across it in your routine or in your environment that it reminds you that you're building a life that you love and with that i hope you have a great rest of your sunday and rest of your week uh, I will, if you're on Instagram, I'll see you around on Instagram and I hope if you've got some time, uh, you hit reply and let me know what you think about any or all of what I've talked about today. And, uh, I will talk to you next week. Bye.